Manny Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley 2, the rematch. April 12th, Las Vegas, MGM Grand Garden Arena. Um, so, both guys are training hard. Both guys always come into tremendous physical condition and mental condition. Um, Pacquiao is really taking this fight seriously. His camp and Freddie Roach and Pacquiao are going for the knockout. It seems like that's what they're talking about a lot, going for the knockout and maybe an early knockout. And I think that's kind of smart because Pacquiao is a fast starter and Timothy Bradley is a kind of slow starter. We've seen that against Ruslan Pravonikov. Pravonikov hurt him early, first round or second round. Bradley didn't start to get his uh, groove back until the middle of the fight where he started controlling it. So I think that would be smart to go after Bradley in the, from the very first round trying to knock him out. And, uh, yes, yeah, so they're going for the knockout. I know they said that against Rios, obviously, too. Freddie Roach said that, but it seems like they're really, really intent on going for the knockout against Bradley. And so is Pacquiao sounds like that, too. Apparently Pacquiao uh, got he got kind of pissed off how uh, how uh, Bradley said you lost your killer instinct. Apparently he kept on he said he repeated that to Freddie Roach. I can't believe he said that to me. So uh, Pacquiao, my prediction, I think Pacquiao will knock out Timothy Bradley, and it will be under six rounds. He will TKO Timothy Bradley. Um, uh, Pacquiao uh, doesn't think Bradley will fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I don't think so either. Bradley's best bet is to box like he did against Marquez. If he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marquez, he would have gotten knocked out. And I think uh, ever since the Ruslan fight, or well, the Marquez fight was after the Ruslan fight, I think he realized he doesn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe too much. And if he does, he's going to get knocked out, I think. Pacquiao really putting emphasis on the aggressiveness. He always does that. He's done that in the last two fights. The Marcus Four fight, he promised aggressiveness. Brandon Rios fight, he promised aggressiveness. This fight, he's really emphasizing the aggressiveness. And Freddie Roach wants him to lose his jab because he says his jab is one of the best in the world he's seen, Freddie Roach. And he doesn't use his jab enough. So in sparring, uh, Pacquiao is using the jab a lot, doubling it up, tripling it up, even four, quadrupling up the jab, and setting up the left hand, the left power hand. So, uh, the first fight, obviously, we know Pacquiao won. He threw more and landed almost a hundred more punches. And when Pacquiao lands and throws more, he's gonna win, and he should win. Pacquiao is a power puncher. He throws every punch with tremendous force. So when a guy, a power puncher, throws more punches and lands more punches, he's usually going to win the fight. If it's a weak puncher and a boxer and he does that, the chances are he might not win the fight. But still, usually the guy who throws more and lands more, whoever style it is, is going to win the fight. But when a power puncher lands more and throws more, he's got to win every time. So... It was a bad decision, obviously Manny won that, but Manny is going to come back and get revenge and knock out Timothy Bradley this time and not leave it in the hands of the judges. And even if Manny does win by unanimous decision, I don't think the judges will mess this up again. Two of those judges are fired now, the ones that judged uh, Manny's fight and Floyd versus Canelo. Had it for uh, Floyd and Canelo a draw, and that judge is fired, the same judge who judged Pacquiao Bradley. So... Those two judges are fired, so I don't think we'll have a bad decision if it goes to decision. Um, Justin Fort Fort Fortune and uh, I think he, yeah, and his other strength trainer, strength and conditioning coach says the cramp issues won't be a problem. We know he has the cramps in his legs. I think against the Shane Mosley fight, he had them the last time he mentioned it. After the fight, he had the cramp. With the Bradley, I think he came in late because he had to stretch his calves on the treadmill. So he's had issues with his uh, legs and his calves, stretching them. But uh, it won't be an issue, according uh, to everyone in his camp. He's playing basketball a lot. He, man, he loves basketball. Keeps him happy. 
Freddie Roach says. He says he's not a fan of it either as a strength conditioning coach, but because they're afraid he might twist his ankle or hurt his ankle or something. But they said it makes him happy, so they they let him play. Um, so yeah, um, Pacquiao's strategy is to knock out Timothy Bradley. Um, Bradley says the only way you're gonna beat me is to knock me out, and I don't. I disagree, obviously. Bradley's going to lose if it goes to decision. It's either going to be an unanimous decision or TKO for Pacquiao. I'm going for TKO uh, under six rounds. TKO win for Pacquiao. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great fight. Um, Pacquiao hasn't got a knockout uh, since 2009 against Miguel Cotto. Almost got a knockout against Margarito. That could have been ruled stoppage, but it wasn't. So hasn't come close to knocking uh, anyone out since the Margarito fight, um, but I think uh, I think he could have TKO Brandon Rios in the later rounds. He looked like Brandon Rios was getting hurt. I think he could have, but he was more cautious. So I think this fight he will uh, finish the job and get the TKO win. So uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I think uh, Bradley. I think uh, Bradley uh, is gonna come. Obviously, I think the best shape he's ever been, but it's not enough. His best is not enough, even against Manny's normal performances. So, Manny, if Manny comes in elite performance, he's in trouble. So, yeah, if Manny wants to go for the knockout and uh, make the fans happy, Bradley, he's probably gonna try to box. And, uh, yeah, can't wait for the fight. So, uh, leave your comments, comments section below. Thanks for watching.